hello guys welcome to the dms online school in today's uh, video i'm going to revise this question so this is the question that was sent to me by one of my subscribers or rather by one of those students in my group wanted just to help him or her to answer this question so the question reads a uh, work out the relative formula mass mr of the following so they want to work out the relative formula mass so what is relative formula mass so relative formula mass is the sum of the relative atomic masses of atoms in the compound so relative formula mass which is also sometimes represented as ram like this okay it is also represented as m r okay relative formula mass sorry so relative formula mass is sometimes represented as a relative then formula mass okay or sometimes it is represented by capital m and small letter r okay so the definition of this relative formula mass is that it is the sum this is sum of relative atomic masses of atoms in a compound so that's what it is so in this case you are given this compound here right which is c a which is calcium open brackets so you have hydrogen then you have carbon oxygen three then you close bracket C2. So this compound here is actually calcium hydrogen carbonate. So they want you to find the relative atomic mass. So it will be the sum of the relative atomic masses of each uh, atom here. So here we have this calcium atom here with the relative atomic mass from the periodic table as 40. Then we have hydrogen here with the relative atomic mass from the periodic table as 1. Then we have carbon with relative atomic mass as 12. Then we have oxygen with relative atomic mass from the periodic table as 16. So if you want to add now the relative atomic mass of the whole compound, you add this. So you say 40, okay, then plus, then you see hydrogen here. So we have added 40 for calcium, then we come to hydrogen, it is 1. However, since it is inside the brackets and outside the brackets, there is a 2 there. It means there are two hydrogen atoms. So you can put it as 1 times 2 okay then plus then you come to carbon also carbon is 12 but because there's a 2 here so it is also 12 times 2 then plus then also you come to 16 here which is for oxygen oxygen there's a 3 here which means the inside here there are three atoms of oxygen and then there's a 2 here meaning you multiply by 2 so it means you have 16 times this 3 here then times these 2 here again okay then what you are going to do is to sum up everything okay so let's do it quickly so let me just do this okay so i'm just going to punch this on my calculator at once so this is what i'm going to do so it is going to be like 14 okay plus then i'll just open brackets there i'll say one times c one times two close brackets then plus then open brackets again i'll say at uh, 12 times two so 12 times c two close brackets then i'll say plus open brackets i think i have 16 times three times two so 16 times three times two there and then close so you see this is what is on the screen here so i'll say equals or enter it to give me 162 so the answer here is 162 so relative atomic mass has got no units so you put your answer here as 162 of course you need to show your work so it is 162 has no units then you come also to aluminium sulfate here so this aluminium sulfate also it is the same situation there aluminium uh, sulfate So here you have aluminium, aluminium, the relative atomic mass of aluminium from the periodic table is 27 here. Then sulfur is 32 here. 
then oxygen is 16. So you sum up again. So you say 27 because there are two atoms of uh, aluminium. So you say 27 times 2, then plus. Then you move to this one here to sulfur. Sulfur, the, the sulfur is 32. 32 is its relative atomic mass, but because it, there's a 2 outside the brackets, it means you say 32 times what? Times 2, then plus you come to 16 here for oxygen. 16 is the relative atomic mass for oxygen, but because there's a 4 here, it means inside there are 4 atoms of oxygen. Now, because there's 2 outside here, you need to multiply with the 2 outside. So you say 16 times 4 times 2. Okay, then as usual, I'll get my calculator. Then so that we can do the, the manipulations. So it is going to be, uh, yeah, so I'll just say open brackets like 27 times 2, close brackets. So this is the one I've put there. Then I'll say plus open brackets. I'll come to 32 times 2. So I'll say 32 times 2, close brackets. Then I'll say plus open brackets. I'll come to this one here, yeah, 16 times 4 times 2. So 16 times 4, okay, times 2, close brackets. I hope you can see what is going on on the screen. Then I'll say equals. So this is a 246. So here, the relative atomic mass is 246. So meaning here, the answer is going to be 246. No units needed. Then we come to this other question here, okay? This other question here, B says, when water containing dissolved calcium hydrogen carbonate is boiled, the calcium hydrogen carbonate decomposes according to the equation below, okay? When water containing dissolved calcium hydrogen carbonate is boiled, the calcium hydrogen carbonate decomposes according to the equation below. So we have this, see, is in aqueous, meaning that there is water content in it or it is in water. And this is calcium hydrogen carbonate. When it is boiled, it decomposes to calcium carbonate, water, and the carbon dioxide. Then uh, part one of this question says, name the white solid formed in this reaction. So the solid, when you see this is formed, this is formed, this is formed. But this calcium carbonate is in a solid state, this is in liquid state water, this is in gaseous state cal uh, carbon dioxide. So name the white solid formed in this reaction. So it is just this calcium carbonate. So you name it as calcium carbonate, okay? Then, part two says, if the water, ignore this part here, if the water boiled containing contained 16.2 grams of calcium hydrogen carbonate, calculate the mass of calcium carbonate formed. Okay, so they're saying if this water here, which was boiled, the content of hydrogen of calcium hydrogen carbonate is uh, is 16.2 grams. Then they're saying we calculate the mass of calcium. Uh, carbonate formed the mass of calcium carbonate formed here so first of all you rewrite this equation here and ensure that uh, this equation is uh, balanced right so that's what uh, we are going to do so let's ensure that we rewrite this equation calcium this equation here which is uh, calcium hydrogen okay carbonate Okay, so there's a two outside here. So it is the one which decomposed to give you calcium carbonate plus water. Okay, plus what? Carbon dioxide. So what we need to do is to ensure that the equation is balanced. Calcium here is one, calcium here is one. Okay, so this is okay. Then hydrogen, because of this two outside here, it is two. Then here, hydrogen is two, okay? Then carbon, because of the two here, it is two. Then here, carbon, there's carbon here and carbon here, so it is two already. Then when we come to oxygen, oxygen is a three times two, six. Then here we have a three plus one plus two, six. So the equation as it is, it is balanced. So what is remaining is just to make if you want, you can make a more, more relationship or you can create a, 
molar mass to molar mass relationship here. So I would rather uh, go for the molar mass to molar mass relationship so, so that the process does not take long of answering this equation. So you just say, okay, the molar mass of calcium carbonate, hydrogen calcium, I mean calcium hydrogen carbonate, it is actually this one we found here. So it is 162, 162, then 2, then the molar mass of calcium carbonate here, we, th this is a 40, right, for calcium, this is for carbon, which is 12, this is for oxygen 16. So if you total up like 14 plus 12 plus 16 times 3, you'll find that the total will be 100. So here you say, according to the equation, if you have 162 uh, gram per mole of calcium, uh, of calcium hydrogen carbonate, it produces 100 gram of uh, calcium hydrogen, I mean of calcium carbonate. Then you say, what if you are given 16.2? Because they are saying that in the water boiled, uh, if the water boiled contained 16.2, grams of calcium hydrogen carbonate meaning this is the mass of calcium hydrogen carbonate which is 16 so it says 16.2 grams it's the one provided now in the reaction so you say how much is it going to form this side you say x then you cross multiply so you say 162 times x it will give you 162 x then equals then you're going to multiply 162 or 16.2 grams times 100 like that okay so what is it going to give you so let's do uh, let me rub this part here so that you know that it will be here 162 is equal to okay yeah so you are going to multiply this one so it is going to be actually um one sixteen two zero grams when you multiply this times this you get 1620 grams but you want x so you divide by 162 also here you divide by 162 so that that one goes there then you remain with it x is equal to then you divide 162 into that it should give you 10 something like that 10 grams if not mistaken so it means that in, uh, there will be 10 grams that will be produced of uh, that so you're going to say 10 grams of uh, calcium carbonate will be okay formed so that's how it is so this is how to do this question here. I hope I have not made any mistakes in my calculations. So let me just do some confirmation. So 16.2 times 100. That's the answer. Then divided by 162. That's the answer. Yeah. So basically, this is how this one should be answered unless there are any questions guys thank you for watching as for now bye and see you in the other revision